Benzene is a really stable compound because of the resonance that it exhibits here. And so we're going to look at an addition to a benzene ring where we add a nitro group to it using concentrated nitric and sulfuric acids. Before we get to the mechanism of that reaction though, we first need to look at what happens when you mix nitric and sulfuric acids that allows this to take place in the first place. So what's unique about the sulfuric is it's a strong enough acid to actually cause the nitric to add the proton from here to here, sometimes. And when that happens, we can form a second compound from this. So let's go ahead and look at what that will turn into, how that'll form that second compound. So we're gonna redraw the nitric acid, double bond oxygen, single bond oxygen, negative formal charge here, no formal charge here, positive here. And now we have the oxygen with the hydrogen attached and another hydrogen attached from earlier, which gives that a positive formal charge. So by adding the H plus to this, we give this an overall positive formal charge. Put those on there. And then what can happen is this bond can break where those electrons return to here, and then this can reform a double bond here, producing two different things. We get a water molecule from this, H2O, and then we form an NO2 plus. And that's the chemical I want to look at here. So the NO2 plus looks like this. And it's that that actually reacts with the benzene. So when I'm starting this mechanism over here, what I want to do is I want to start with that. So we're going to take our benzene, and we're going to go ahead and put in the carbons and hydrogens to make it a little more clear. So carbon, carbon, double bond, single bond, double bond, single bond, double bond, single bond. And each one has a hydrogen. We're going to take the NO2 plus and the positive charge on that nitrogen is able to react with the negative charge of the double bond here. So we're going to form a curly arrow from here to here that links the nitrogen to one of the carbons, either this one or this one. And then when that happens, one of these bonds is going to break forming a single bond which can then resonate. So we end up with the following structure. So we end up with this missing this double bond. So let's start with that. So we have carbon to a hydrogen, double bond, carbon, single bond, carbon, double bond, carbon. And then over here, we've now used that double bond, so we're only left with a single bond on all three of those continuous bonds. We have a hydrogen here and here well as over here. And now we need to just pick either one of the carbons. It doesn't matter which, but one of them gets the NO2. So let's put the NO2 here. All right. And what we then end up with is we also end up with a positive charge. So and specifically, this carbon here only has three bonds to it. So we have a positive formal charge at that particular carbon. From there, to reform the benzene type structure where we have the uh, alternating double bonds, we need to lose this hydrogen and these electrons are going to form that. But I do want to point out before we get to that, this positive charge, these electrons can move here, getting rid of the carbocation here and shifting it over here. These electrons can move here, moving the carbocation up here. And so that positive charge is delocalized over this, giving it some stability, not as much as a typical benzene ring. Okay. From here, some base, whether it's the bisulfate we produced over here or something else, swoops in and takes away this hydrogen to form a conjugate acid, and the electrons here come back to reform this double bond, which then produces our original benzene type structure, but now in place of a hydrogen we have an NO2, that spot and we still have our five remaining hydrogens that we had before. So that is the mechanism that's been on the IV test the last couple of years pretty frequently. Um, you want to know a little bit about the formation of the NO2 plus, and then from there you want to be able to work in NO2 plus reacting with the benzene ring, following three of those two steps in order to end up with a nitro group on a benzene ring. And then in addition to that, after that point, you can take this and reduce it using tin and hydrochloric acid. 
uh, followed by a base treatment to produce an amine.